way that you're going to prevent abuse isn't by putting on your like super evil person goggles and finding these big dramatic things. We've been talking a lot about sex abuse allegations involving church leaders, and today an Austin Baptist Church confronted the issue head on. KXAN's Alyssa Gord is here with what Hillcrest Baptist Church is doing to identify and prevent childhood sexual abuse, as well as seek help for survivors. That's right, Tom. And the pastor at Hillcrest Church spoke with me today, and he read the reports about accusations against leaders and volunteers at other Southern Baptist Church, as did many of the members of his congregation. They also read those reports, and they wanted a space to talk about what happened. So around 100 people gathered to listen to the pastor, the church's children's minister, and a survivor of abuse. Among the congregation at Hillcrest Baptist Church is Anna Westbrook. She's a survivor of childhood abuse. Her abuser, a volunteer at a Southern Baptist Church in Connecticut. And churches are a safe place where people expect to have a higher level of security. But because of that, they tend to let their guard down more. Last week, the Houston Chronicle and San Antonio Express News reported hundreds of Southern Baptist Church leaders and volunteers have been accused of sexual misconduct since 1998 and many of their victims were children. When Westbrook read this report, I felt relief because as a survivor, this isn't talked about often enough. So she jumped at the chance to talk on a panel at her own church about preventing abuse. When you actually sit down and read the report, it's absolutely heartbreaking. Pastor Tom Goodman says each Southern Baptist church is independent, and his church already has proactive policies in place, like criminal background checks and never leaving an adult alone with a child. The panel took that a step further with resources for parents and survivors. The first thing I want you to know is there's not a magic moment, but there is going to be a mindset of repeatedly talking to your children about feelings, about safety. Westbrook got to share some of the things she's learned and point other victims to places where they can go for help. This, she says, feels like a step in the right direction. I am hoping that individuals who are worshiping in a Baptist church feel empowered to talk to their leaders about ways that they specifically can prevent abuse and that with that individual empowerment, further systematic change can happen. And Tom Anna Westbrook, who we heard from just now, I actually spoke with her this evening to follow up and see how the panel went. She said that for survivors, there often aren't a lot of times where you feel like you're having a win. And she right. said this panel for her felt like a win because it was validating for her to know that her church wanted to hear from her as a survivor and that they didn't want to sweep these reports about allegations at yeah. other churches under the rug. And just a big step that this church is willing to get out in front of this. Right here in Austin. Right here in Austin.